Okay, Star Wars fans, YouTubers, I'm back with yet another unboxing. This one is from a small company in Arkansas called KNC Collectibles. I just randomly found them off of Rebel Scum's website. I know I've talked a lot about Entertainment Earth recently, and um, I thought I'd give another company a chance. I got some pretty good stuff from them. I've already opened the box, but um, I'll just show you. Here we go. KNC Collectibles. What I got is fake snow. You see, it's summer in Alaska, and I needed this for a Hoth scene. So, <laughs> actually, um, I got a few figures. First of all, I got another Han Solo in Baspin. I've yet to see him in the store, and I, I do have one of them from the first release. This is the second release, as you can see from the Darth Maul uh, mail away, the free Darth Maul statue mail away. Secondly, I got. Dr. Evazon. I did say I was going to try to do some more uh, Cantina Aliens as well as Jabba's Palace. So, I got a couple of these guys. One is punched and one is unpunched, so I can keep one. There you go, an unpunched version of Dr. Evazon. And one last figure, a blast from the past. Uh, where is he in here? Hold on. He's up against the side. Uh, excuse me, that's my computer going off. Blast from the past, I got Lobot from the OTC collection of 2004. This is what the packaging looked like back then. I know I've talked a lot about the VOTC packaging, the Vintage Collection original trilogy, which looked a lot like the actual uh, current Vintage Collection, but this is what the uh, regular OTC collection looked like. This is Lobot right here. He's an eight-year-old figure, but still he's pretty good. Evazon, here he is closer. Give you a look at the back of the packaging here. I'll probably review this guy today before breakfast. My Dr. Evazon. And Han, I've already re reviewed him a few months ago. Han Solo in Baspin. We've all been waiting for more than a decade for that guy. Plus, I got a couple other guys from some other small eBay purchases. I got another Panda Baba. I did say I wanted two of them just to keep one on card back. He's another very hard figure to get. He's becoming like the next Wedge Antilles. And I got a comic pack from the Legacy Collection. A Rogue Squadron comic pack. I am going to try to do some reviews. I've got a few hours to do so depending on how many mess ups I make. <laughs> I'm going to try to do some reviews today. But uh, I hope you enjoyed looking at that. It's not a Brad Price either from the place. It's a pretty good shipping as well. So I'll probably order from them again, especially if they get the Imperial Navy Commander in. I've been trying to find that guy. He's he's going for around 30 off of eBay, and I've been hopelessly trying to get a hold of him. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. This is Supreme signing out, and as always, thank you for tuning in.